What about references? If you're using something like ChatGPT to create something, you still have to cite the material in some way, even though you added your own. So that again, depends on the source of the material. And this goes back to the copyright law. So ChatGPT went and read a bunch of books and a bunch of websites and took all that information in. For instance, I have a book here called Launch by, Don, by Jeff Walker. I just grabbed the first book off my bookshelf and that's what this book is. And so if ChatGPT read this book and I then ask it a question about how to set up a marketing funnel or how to do a launch of a course, it might get information from this book and give me that, but it might also use it from 17 other books. And I won't know that because ChatGPT just gives you a response back. You can see here, I asked a question of who wrote the NIST cybersecurity framework, and I want you to provide me a reference in your answer. So then I got this answer back. It was written by NIST, which is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Here's the primary authors. It was written with academia and industry, blah, blah, blah. And then the reference is there at the bottom, which says the National Institute of Standards and Technology 2018, the framework for preparing critical infrastructure, which is the NIST cybersecurity framework. So they actually can give you the references if you ask. Most of the time, people don't ask for the references and they don't want it. But if you're writing a report for school, for instance, and you're using this as part of your first draft process, ask it, provide me in-text citations, give me a list of a biography at the end, tell me what you used and where you got your information. Sometimes it won't be able to tell you that, but in some cases it will. And in this case, I need that information, so it gave me that information. But if I didn't need that information, I wouldn't even bother to ask and I would have just taken the answer it gave me. That's a one way to check your sources. And then the other question was, do you need to cite your sources? If you're in an academic paper, like you're in college, yes, you do, or your teacher's going to hit you for plagiarism or copyright infringement or something like that. If you're in a workplace environment and it's taking, if it just took a page out of this book and said, here's your answer, that's what Google does when you do a Google search. That would be copyright infringement. But what ChatGPT does is it reads that, rephrases it, and then spits it out to you. And because of that rephrasing, it is no longer a copyright issue because it's not word for word the same. That being said, there are other things you can copyright. For example, if I'm going to write a new certification on, I don't know, let's say Security Plus, I can't just go pick up a textbook off the shelf and go, ah, here is their table of contents in this book. Boom, boom. I'm going to make my book the exact same because the layout and the table of contents of the book can also be copyrighted under U.S. law. And you can actually get sued for that. So if I've written several books and if Jamari decided he wants to write a book on the LPI Linux Essentials certification, which I have a book on, he can't just take my book and print out the exact same, the same layout because I can then say he used my book, just rephrased it, and now he's stealing from me. And so I could sue him and take him to court over a copyright issue. So these are things you have to think about if you're starting to publish work from a commercial aspect, 